Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show how you can install Lubuntu Desktop, so a lightweight Ubuntu Desktop on your Raspberry Pi 4 using the Desktopify method because people seem to like this um, Desktopify a lot and they don't know how to install Lubuntu. So I'm just going to make a tutorial. It's not that long. Um, so first of all, what you need to do is you need to have the Raspberry Pi Imager. Open it up. Choose OS and choose um, Ubuntu. I'm going to go with the 64-bit server, but you can use 32-bit if you'd rather have that. Then choose your SD card. That's mine. And hit write, and it will start writing it. Once you, After you did that, just plug it in your Pi and so boot it up. So you boot it up, and you get to this screen. You might think, oh, I need to log in now. But no, it always comes to this login, and you wait until the next um, place. So you just have to be a little patient here and wait for it. Okay, as you see, I, I waited, and it, I came to this screen. So now I hit enter, um, and it says password. Just enter again okay now it says Ubuntu login so the type Ubuntu enter Ubuntu for password current password Ubuntu new password whatever you want and hit hit enter As you see, now we came to this part. So what we're going to do now is go type git clone. This will be in the description like always. HTTP github.com dash dash wimpy's world dash desktopify dot git and it says cloning into oh try it one more time oh it was giving me error because I typed it wrong so all you need is one dash right there not two so that's the only reason so this is what you're gonna be typing git clone http um two dots dash dash github dot com one piece world stuff high dot git this will be in the description you can just copy right over and what we need to type now is cd space desktopify and now now you're going to type sudo dot dash um de desktopify de de and you're going right here you can type lubuntu now hit enter and now it's going to start installing Ubuntu for us. For me, it takes about 20 minutes. So now you just got to wait okay, for it. Okay, so it finally finished for me. Because as you see, desktop fi Ubuntu, it says. So what you need to type now is sudo reboot. And it will boot us into Ubuntu. So Ubuntu is pretty lightweight. So it should run really well on the Pi. Okay, so I did sudo reboot, you know. So I got to this screen. It looks pretty cool, actually. So here, you need to type in your password that you made earlier. And hit enter. And it should boot us into the um, Ubuntu desktop environment. Okay. So there's an upgrade, it says. So, so this is Ubuntu, as you see. Um, it looks pretty nice, actually. I like the way it looks. It performs super nicely so I can go in um, to different f places here I can search for a terminal um, so if I go to system tools I have Qt terminal so from here I'm just gonna go sudo apt update and I'm gonna update the system now. See, um, why that's done. We have Firefox here. So this is the same as Ubuntu. It's just Ubuntu is GNOME, 
desktop environment, and this is um, LXDE, the same as Raspberry Pi OS. So I can go, I'm gonna go to YouTube. Sorry for the slow network speed. There's people on Zoom in my family. That's why the network is slow. Yeah, it's pretty slow right now for some reason. Well, I'll have to look at that later. But we have VLC. We have all the LibreOffice apps here. We have graphic apps. We have a game right here. Education accessories. We have some accessories. Um, so trash. So we can go to desktop preferences. And you can change your background if you want to. You can do a lot of customization on this. So yeah, this is Lubuntu 20.04 running on your Pi. The desktop Pi method. I did a 64-bit version. You can do 32-bit if you want. Um. Yeah, so I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys. If you guys would like another tutorial for anything else or just a review on something, please tell me in the comments. Um, yeah, thanks for watching my video. I hope you like it and I hope you subscribe.